pet expert Victor Conti says what Billy Joe Saunders was busted for is 10 times stronger than Canelo and the clenbuterol substance. Stay tuned. Well, let me say that I had strong suspicions watching his last two fights before this fight with Boo Boo, Willie Monroe Jr., who I worked with, that was supposed to be testing, and there was no testing until he got to the U.K. on a Sunday, and they tested him on Tuesday, and they fought on a Saturday. So if you look at the pictures, he probably weighed 185, 190, and 30 days later he's weighing 160. So that seemed highly suspicious to me. And then the same thing with his next fight with David Lemure in, in uh, Canada. And, uh, you know, he claimed that he'd been doing testing and so on. But once again, we see the chubby guy who turns into the skinny guy in 30 days seemed highly suspicious. So once the contract was negotiated, there was a clause, the Demetrius Andre versus B.J. Saunders uh, bout sheet had a clause in it that if matchroom requested VADA testing, that there would be VADA testing, but only if they requested. Now, obviously, money is an issue. Uh, it costs sixteen to twenty thousand dollars to to have a testing pool for a couple months for both fighters uh, before the fight. And so, to make sure that this happened, I agreed to sponsor this testing. So they both enrolled in VADA testing, and let me say that. WADA testing, the World Anti-Doping Association testing, is considered the gold standard, but it is not. And the reason what people have to understand is that it's not very effective is because they have two types of testing, out-of-competition testing and end testing. So in between fights and on fight night. And what people don't realize is that the, the list of, of performance enhancing substances that they test for in between fights is very limited. Okay. okay. You know, a lot of people don't know about the in, in what is it, in training? In competition, in competition, excuse me. In competition and out of competition, and a lot of people have started writing about it. And before, the substance that we're talking about is oxylofrine. It's also methyl, methylsinephrine, is that how I say yes, it? Yes, methylsinephrine. Okay. It's, people know this as, as uh, ephedrine or ephedra, but years ago there was a product called Rip Fuel by, by Twin Lab that was very popular, and of course has a weight loss. Uh, product, but this is a very powerful and potent substance, tenfold more powerful than clenbuterol. So Billy Joe, Joe Saunders saying that Canelo was taking this, it's like that's baby food and this is the steak. Okay, so what he was taking opens up the air passageways. It was a inhaler that he was using. It's a central nervous system stimulant. Gives you tremendous energy, increases speed, increases power, cuts weight. This is a boxer's dream drug. So he was using something very potent. On fight night, this is a prohibited substance. But in between competition, the UK AD, anti-doping in the UK, does not test for this. VADA does test for this. So when he signed this enrollment form with VADA, the prohibited substance list is there and given to him. This substance is on there. It's on the list for the NFL, Major League Baseball, NCAA, everybody year-round, not out of competition testing with a weak list like they do with WADA. So apparently he and his trainer realized that this was a loophole that you could drive a Mack truck through, and they decided here's a way to drop 25, 30 pounds in a short period of time, give you all kinds of energy and, and enhancement in training, and uh, they tested him. The sample was collected on August the 30th. Uh, there is another sample, we believe, and we believe that's also going to come back positive as well. This substance clears the body in 24 hours. So we believe that he's been using this for a long time, and he has been tested, but they don't test for this substance, so he's been driving a Mack truck through this loophole. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations of Venmo donations and the patreon family we work and now wbo middleweight champion billy joe saunders 
he's under a bit of scrutiny right now because it was just revealed a couple days ago that he failed a drug test through vada right you guys heard the clip at the beginning it's from victor conti who is a longtime expert in this field of performance enhancing drugs he was involved with balco you guys could look up his story if you're not familiar with him but if you've covered boxing or followed boxing for some years you'll know who victor conti is and now the fight with demetrius andrade is supposed to take place in boston on the zone in the united states october 20th it's in limbo we don't know billy joe sanders has to have a hearing with the state of massachusetts where the fight would be held and they have to determine his outcome if they determine he can go on to fight demetrius andrade then the fight will continue as the main event if not i did a video about who would be a substitute for demetrius andrade it's a undefeated puncher from Namibia, and he has a high knockout ratio, but again, he hasn't really fought anyone, but that's the highest ranking person behind WBO, number one um, mandatory, Demetrius Andre. So that's that. You guys heard the clip at the beginning of Victor Conti, very outspoken, very candid, and I believe he does know his stuff. I mean, he was telling you what it enhances, products that were sold over the, over the counter and whatnot that used to have it back in the day and um i think he's well versed in this him saying that this particular substance that billy joe saunders was caught for is called oxyliofrin oxyliofrin something like that and it's a stimulant which helps your endurance and in the whole interview this was with ring tv he was saying that he believes it's suspicious in Billy Joe Saunders' last couple of fights that he was, you know, looking soft and pudgy. And then all of a sudden he, you know, he's trimming down and losing a lot of weight and getting in shape. So he said he thought it was suspicious to begin with. So he sounds like he wasn't surprised that Billy Joe Saunders actually failed a drug test. Now, for the record, Victor Conti, he works with Snack System and um they represent a lot of athletes they have like a, a snack gym out here in the bay area where i'm at and they represent different fighters vanis monterosin also demetrius andrade and willie monroe and he, he talks about the willie monroe he says he fought one of our fighters before that's what he was referring to when um billy joe saunders beat willie monroe and he talked about the david lemieux fight and then now Everything's in limbo with Andrade. Andrade was at the... They had a... DAZN is working with Bellator. They had a card with Rampage Jackson on it as well. 50 Cent was there. It was in San Jose, also in the Bay Area, where I'm at. Demetrius Andrade went because, again, it's a DAZN thing, and he's training out here. And he says that he he's still down to fight, but it's not... You know, it's out of his hands, but he wants to punish and hurt Billy Joe Saunders, and he says it's bad and it's sad that guys have to take something to, you know, try to get an unfair edge to try to beat me. You know, that's what he said. You guys can watch the telecast. He was just like, yeah, it's sad that, you know, people have to cheat to beat. So he said, right, when we fight, if if we do fight and he's the opponent, he said, I'm going to try to kill him. I'm going to try to hurt him. Not like kill him, kill him. But I, pretty, I think he said the words kill, but we know what he's referring to. He's, he's basically saying he's trying to knock him out and punish him, make him pay. So, you know, really not a good look for Billy Joe Sanders. You have a guy who's known in the boxing circles and in the sports world who's supposed to be one of the Peds gurus, you know, the, the Mimo Heredias and the Victor Conti and Alex Ariza, the guys that know so much and, you know, have been around and whatnot. And Victor Conti's saying straight up, Clem Buterall ain't shit compared to this. He says, uh, Clem Buterall, would it the effects and what it could do for your body would be like baby food and he says this is the real deal this ox oxilio friend he said that's the real deal this would be the stake of peds so you know just to have that type of testimony it's not good um i don't know i've seen a lot of things happen in boxing so i don't know what the hearing is going to decide but if billy joe saunders gets the fight canceled or his fight canceled He'll likely be stripped, and that's going to be a horrible look for him. Um, he already complained that he doesn't have a fan base because he's a gypsy traveler, and I guess that's not accepted in the UK, or a lot of people have their own um, opinions about that. But 
career-wise, he's been hit or miss. You know, he's put on performances. That guy that looks like Wolverine, he, he put on a, a suspect performance. He's had inactivity, and then he comes back and impresses with the David Lemieux performance, and then he was supposed to fight Martin Murray. He pulls out with the injury. They postponed it. Then he was supposed to fight Martin Murray, and it looked like Golovkin didn't have Canelo because he, too, failed a drug test earlier this year for, again, the Clem Buterol. And then all of a sudden, Billy Joe Saunders pulls out of the Martin Murray fight again, and this time it gets shelved and, and canceled completely. And then we get the announcement that the zone and the WBO, you know, the WBO ordered the fight and the zone, you know, and Frank Warren put together the fight between Andrade and Saunders. And people are like, yeah, that's dope. And then now we get this news. So, you know, these things, they don't help the event in a positive way. It really taints it because even if he's allowed to fight, you know, if he loses, then they'll be like, damn, he was on something. He was cheating and, and he still lost. But if he wins, then it's a it's a convenient thing for people to use. So I really hate this. And, and we definitely need to clean up the sport and force um, hard, stringent, strict punishments because I'm getting sick of all these these tests popping up. And, you know, everyone has their reason why it happened and this, that and the third. And it's just take away from the fans. Like I said, people want to see a clean fight and we want to fight where no matter who wins guy a or b there's no excuses there's no built-in things you could say it's just that guy lost on the given night the other guy was a better man and the bigger man or whatever you know the better man and it's kind of taken away because you have that black cloud when things like this come up you know people are gonna believe what they want you know they look at your physique they look at this and that and they're gonna speculate plus you actually failed a drug test you know so I hate it personally, but definitely not a good look when Victor Conti and, and known experts in the field are saying what's in your system is all bad news, you know, and real powerful stuff that we're dealing with. So we'll see the outcome of this particular fight. Billy Joe Saunders is claiming that it was um, nasal spray. It's kind of a loophole because the UK, the, the UK drug testing, they only test and punish for it if it's found in your system on the night of the fight but out of competition they're not really tripping if it's in your system but in america where the fight is to be held it's completely banned as well as the mlb uh, major league baseball and the nfl and other you know i've seen sprinters and racers i did my research they've been busted and suspended for it so you know, it sounds like it's it's for the most part banned, a little bit of a loophole in the UK. The UK, for whatever reason, says if you're out of competition, we're not really worried about it if it's in your system. But it sounds like it, it gives you an unfair advantage, which would be a PED. So I don't know why the, the UK has a setup like that. Let me know what you guys think of this testimony from Victor Conti. Will the fight commence or do you think it'll get scrapped? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego signing. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.